Cool. Um, well, let me introduce uh, a new initiative that we have going. Um, briefly, well, provisionally called Copilot Feedback Bot. Uh, not the most original name, perhaps, but I think I think it, it encapsulates what this is about. Um, there's a little preview of him in the background, him or her. Um, yeah, it's a bot, so. Um, let's just start with why um so we're increasingly see customers um want to justify the the cost of copilot obviously it's not free um and essentially it comes down to the why comes down to proving the cost of that uh for our customers so um you know we've heard some pretty wild estimates of time saving uh from you know uh, all the way up to several millions of hours every day etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, and i figured well the best way of actually asking or, or or gathering data on the feedback is to actually ask the people who are going to use it um how much time they've saved um so that's the why in in essence um we want feedback from users about copilot how it's working in your organization um if yeah i mean partly to prove the cost and also um if there are any issues you know with people not enjoying it not getting value out of it maybe we can figure out why that is and introduce some sort of uh, improvement program okay so there we go so that's the why um what is it uh, it is, in fact, um, a project on GitHub. Um, it's in preview. There is a version that basically works. Uh, essentially, it's a system that runs in your tenant. So it goes off, collects a bunch of data about um, Copilot usage uh, within your org, um, plus some user data. We store it in your SQL Server. Okay, so that data lives forever under your own control and then based off that usage data we go asking people how was copilot isn't it amazing yes or no uh, whatever you'll see that in a minute all right um so that's what it is um these slides are fairly basic we'll be done in a minute not really a slides person personally anyway um how does it work a bit more detail so we detect automatically user engagement um that we do through the audit log actually um there, there are audit log events when people use copilot um and with those events we get things like um if they used any documents uh what meeting they were in so there's kind of context information about uh, each time they talk to copilot uh, it's obviously possible as well that you can just talk to Copilot and not do anything even remotely productive. You can just get it to crack jokes all day if you wish. Um, that too will appear. Probably not the jokes in this instance, but you'll you'll see that there was a chat at least. Um, then based off that, so based off you know a concrete action with Copilot. Uh, we'll then go asking them, how was that then? You know, did you get anything out of that? Did you save any time? And, you know, a couple of questions. But we just want to get feedback about a specific interaction. All right. So that is the part that is probably unique because we're looking at specific stuff that users have definitely done with Copilot. OK. Um, cool. Then off the back of that, what we do is we report on the feedback that we get, um, as well as the interactions. And then as a final stage, we try and improve any, you know, anyone who wasn't happy. Um, we try and go out and figure why that was, all right? So um, briefly, data that we import to SQL. Um, there are three elements, really, uh, for usage data. You've got Copilot, so, you know, who chatted to Copilot when. Um, we've got SharePoint data, so what file was it? What site was that in? What was the file name? This kind of thing. Um, and then for Teams, we've got the meeting. All right, so 
if right now I uh, ask Copilot or one of you guys ask Copilot to make a summary of the meeting, then that is an event that will come through along with the, the meeting in question as well. So that's the usage data. Um, on the user metadata side, we read a bunch of stuff from Entra ID, as or AD, um, if you like the classic name. So that's just stuff like department, country, manager, office location, and job title. So, you know, we may find, for example, that um, uh, sales guys uh, really like it and all the techie guys hate it, for example. I don't know. I'm just making it up. Um, but we want to be able to sort of split the the results based on any of these demographics. So that's stuff that we import as well. Okay, uh, I'm going to drop out of presenter view. guess you can all see my screen still. Yep. Now yep. I'm back to normal, just presenting. All right, so <clears throat> let me fire up the solution. So this is actually already available i'll put it in the in the chat um you're welcome to go and have a poke have a play do uh, you also maximize the window or uh, or increase the font size a little bit just so that they're in yeah you know, perfect sorry i'm got a 4k screen here so it's uh looks big to me <laughs> <laughs> um i'm all right <laughs> all right so this is the bot um Anyone who's done any sort of bot development in C-sharp will know it's just a, uh, an ASP.NET app. Um, it loads a couple of things. What I'm going to do is show you in bot emulator, the bot, be just because I have a bit more control. Let me see if I'm going to make that. There we go. All right, here's Copilot bot. Um, yeah, any developer should recognize this tool very handy all right so uh, as i mentioned in the powerpoint what we do yeah first of all we we see what's gone on um and now we're kind of the bot comes in when we start to react to what we've seen happen in code pilot okay um and a user will will see this bot and realize that it exists when it installs itself and then pops up its first message, right? Uh, very similar to Company Communicator, if you have if you know that one. All right, but um, yeah, I'm just showing you here because it's a great way of simulating an install, right? So, hi, I'm Copilot Feedback Bot. Um, it looks like you've used Copilot, ergo we're having this conversation. Um, now, I can just tell it to go away. Uh, a key kind of element of this is that it's not too annoying because if a bot's too annoying um it's not going to be used <laughs> just going to be blocked so fine um let's just say we want to start a survey um so here what we what you can see is that it's picked up a specific action um uh, one that i've made up uh, in this instance for this demo um, but it's referencing here a specific meeting where I, you know, this user here would have used Copilot. Um, and we just want a, a very quick, you know, one to five rating. Okay, so obviously Copilot was brilliant. So let me hit that button. Um, fantastic. Copilot bot is happy with that. Um, now, <clears throat> now, if the user just bombs out at this point and, you know, doesn't res respond that's fine we have the the initial rating uh, and they, they're not required to fill out anymore but if they do want to fill out any more then that is also brilliant um there's some stuff that they can add um something that we're working on now is making this configurable because every customer that i've spoken to has had different requirements for what they want to ask and and so on um, these questions here are actually um, the recommended questions that Microsoft uh, suggest for measuring value. Uh, yeah, so I, I, we put those in. All right, so they can update that, and fantastic. Uh, as far as the user is concerned, that's pretty much it. Um, the bot will come back at a later date, hopefully not too soon. 
Um, at the moment, it's just once a day um, if they do something else with Copilot, right? And so this just this bit here is a way of just automating the feedback loop for Copilot, right? Uh, let me see if I do it again. I, I can obviously prompt it to to uh, give me another survey. So here's another one. Um, I did something in this file. Um, again, I made up file name. Um, well, it was okay. It, it made some comment. You know, it, it generated some comments that weren't great, for example. So not the best content. Again, so this is the loop that users will see. Um, just someone there saying, hi, I saw you use this, this thing. Um, just let me know how that was uh, or just go away or whatever. Okay. Um, so that's that mechanism. Um, it ends up in SQL. So I'm, I'm afraid I cannot make this any bigger. <laughs> Um, but there's a bunch of tables in SQL uh, that this ends up in, uh, a nicely optimized database structure. But the more interesting part, I guess, is probably the Power BI side anyway. All right, so um, in this report, we basically have our usage stats and then our review stats right so we can see where copilot has definitely been used in files and meetings and also just generally how many interactions we've had um if i nip over here um again we sort of break that down over time so we we should see if it's a healthy rollout we should see a general increase in in adoption okay for the different areas of copilot uh, right now, we've only got support in for team for Teams meetings and uh, office uh, editing and summarizing and that kind of thing. Um, uh, there will be more um, uh, context uh, to be added, but just for the time being, that's what we have. Um, the more important thing, though, is the ratings. So these are the the smiley face or you know your angry face. Um, Again, we should see a general improvement as time goes on. This is, by the way, fake data, so uh, don't read too much into it. Um, and we can break that down by uh, department because this is Power BI and that's the kind of awesome stuff that's really easy. Um, but the main thing, um, perhaps, is the time saved. So what we are looking for here is um, per action we should see, or for all actions, we should see a general increase in time saved. And time saved is your money uh, proposition right there, your investment uh, paying itself back. So um, these stats are, again, from users that are doing very specific things every day. Um, and this is from real usage, right? This isn't a case study that Microsoft is, is telling you about. This is your, your own organization, uh, which is... The most valuable feedback you can have, I think. Um, Bonzi Buddy. I can't believe you say it's Bonzi Buddy. Look at this guy. Doesn't look anything like Bonzi Buddy. <laughs> anyway, um, so that's the feedback bot. Um, you deploy it. It will start proactively installing itself um, as people start using Copilot. Um, and this is the whole idea. Thank you.